this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! Let's continue through Lake Brescia, or, well, Crystal Brescia now, or whatever they're gonna call it from here. This place is crystal! Well, what, you didn't notice that before? What's going on? Ha ha, you can't find us! How do they expect to find anything like. around here, anyway? To become a crystal, I mean. Well, you're gonna complete around. your focus. <laughs> Maybe, if I knew what it was. Yeah, I probably don't want to know. Nah, nah, I don't hey, think Lightning. so. We're just gonna Did keep Sarah running for the rest of the game. Did say anything to you about her focus? <sighs> Nothing. Oh, well. Uh, you know what? She probably didn't want to worry you. Or she Way to think positive. Didn't think she could trust me. Way to think oh. negative, Lightning. You're supposed to be the leader. She is, relatively speaking, the main character. As much as Terra was in Final Fantasy VI, I suppose. I find it amusing that, you know, this whole place crystallized somewhat randomly, right? Yet they all crystallized into nice, convenient hallways for us to... Guide us along our way. 30 gil? Well, could be worse, I suppose, but... I don't know. 30 gil's not really gonna do me a whole lot of good at this point. Where did I get all the rest of that money? Didn't I buy another, uh... Power wristband? Huh? I, oh, right, I sold that, uh... That credit chip earlier. By the way, with any components that you see that say can be sold for a premium, do so. There's no reason to hold on to those particular ones, but all your other components do hold on to them. Uh, the game will give us a tutorial about how to use them later. Let's see, how are we doing here? I only fought like one battle. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with my Crystarium for now. But just so you know, for future reference, I'm going to show some things with my Crystarium. But in general, I'm pretty much, what I think I'm going to do from now on, is I'm going to show, well, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to work on my Crystarium off screen, and then I'll just tell you what I got afterwards. But I'm really mostly going to focus on the abilities and things that I'm going to get. Not so much on the stat gains, because I mean, yeah, you want to get them, but it's not critically important for me to tell you to get every single little nitpicking detail. And, uh... I assume, for those of you who actually do want me to talk more about the Crystarium or to show more, that you don't want me to show learning everything individually. Right? I mean, you don't want to at me to actually show you guys me learning everything manually, do you? Oh, man. But anyway, as far as, like, abilities and stuff to learn, when it gets more complex later on, and it will, then I'll go over things in more detail. But for right now, it's pretty easy for me to just tell you, hey, get this, get that, without actually going into, or taking forever to do that. So, man. Got found some ruins. It looks like, like Sad the Same. The fire turned to crystal. Holy cow. Don't tell me I got a preemptive strike on this guy. Wow. Okay, well, we got a new enemy there. Crusader. So, first things first, let's take out those rangers then. There we go. Alright, got him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to, uh, Libra this guy. There we go. Okay, that's better. Let's try that one again. We almost got the guy. I suppose I could, uh, use ATB refresh, but we almost got him anyway, so. Just stand right next to the guy. Oh, crap, I didn't kill him. I thought I was gonna kill him there, but the stagger, or the king gauge, uh, drained too quickly. Well, we got him anyway. Hooray! But yeah, that guy, uh, usually I'd probably want to go triple Ravager if I didn't get the preemptive strike, but uh, yeah, nothing too special about him there, so. Okay, well we grab that. Let's head on up here. Ah, I can see a treasure in the back. Anyway, over here, what do we got? What is this place for, anyway? Well, anyway, we got a spark ring. Sort of it um, reduces lightning elemental damage by, I think, 20%. So, yeah, you want to actually hold on to that one. That one in particular is pretty good, uh, being able to uh, reduce lightning elemental damage. Not right now, 
but for later. I mean, there are some enemies that use lightning attacks right now. It's actually one of the more commonly used, one of the most commonly used elements, if not the most commonly used element in the game by enemies. So, yeah, lightning is pretty good there for, uh, I mean, the thun well, thunder element. I'm going to use lightning and thunder interchangeably, and if you can't tell the difference between the element and the name of the character, well, too bad. Okay, well now what I want to do is uh, use up my crystarium points, or crystal gen points, whatever, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Uh, basically, all I did, uh, I forgot to mention what I did since last time also. I got power chain for lightning there. It makes her attack or ruin attack more powerful sometimes. Uh, Manil, I only worked on some stat boosts there. And Saz, I, I learned the almighty, well, maybe not almighty, but I learned the arrow spell, so that's kind of important for him. And I also have that, I think I mentioned it last time, but I got the uh, flame strike ability. And uh, well, what Vanille's talking about there is you can actually take a little shortcut through there to the other side of the map there. But I don't want to do that. Instead, let's take the scenic route. Why not? Usually in Final Fantasy XIII, you want to take the scenic route because there's more treasure that way. And you can use the uh, crystal gem point. So, got another new enemy there. First, let's take out his comrades, the rangers. There we go. And maybe I could have used, uh, what is that? Oh, we got, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Libra, Libra, Libra. There we go. We want to uh, Libra him first. Now, this guy, not so much tough, but uh, you, you want to use ravagers in order to chain him. Because he does have quite a bit of chain resistance for an enemy at this point in the game. 90%, well, 90 chain resistance. So, uh, yeah, we're going to use Ravagers there. And then switch back and deal maximum damage. But other than that, pretty standard. Once you take out the Rangers, I mean, this guy's obviously a lot easier to deal with. So it's pretty helpful knowing what enemy... You know, it's not just as simple as just going auto... I mean, yeah, you can go auto battle over and over and over again. But then you're probably part of the same crowd that whines and complains that this game is too hard. So, can't have it both ways. So, yeah, you know what you're doing. You know, battle be a lot easier. Uh, what do you mean, Saz? We're plowing through these guys very easily. Yeah, let's keep on going. Oh, there we go. I'm wondering where that treasure was. Why do people leave their money lying around in these things anyway? Ah, oh, we got a Millerite. That's a specific kind of component called a catalyst. I'll go over that when I go over components later. Wow, considering those were six enemies, it, it was relatively easy. How am I doing on my, uh, ooh, not bad on my shroud supply. There's one more type of shroud that we haven't gotten yet, but, uh, soon enough, here is, soon enough. Yeah, apparently I'm still winning shrouds here, even though I uh, am five starring every battle. Yeah, you see this part? That's where you would go through. That's where you could have gone through to the other side. So, no need to worry about that. Let's go on up here first. Always take the farther branch first. At least the game is consistent on that. And for defeating those guys, we get access to some. Item. That's actually a pretty good component. Geronimo! You would think being able to uh, get the jump on an enemy would uh, enable you to get surprise attacks, but apparently not. Well, let's grab this last treasure over here at least. By the way, those Millerites, uh, you can actually sell those. Those are among the very few components that I would say it's okay to sell for now. You can actually get a decent chunk of change for them. So, all right, there we go. Well, one last chance to uh, upgrade my Crystarium before the uh, we reach our destination up there. And I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Uh, basically, I've nearly maxed out my Crystarium as far as I can go. Uh, yeah, there's just like one more ability for most of my characters. Just stack gains that I got this time, so nothing that special. There is hope that I could work on, but well, I'll worry about him later. Usually with my inactive characters, I don't worry about their Crystarium until, well, until it becomes pertinent, really. So, don't worry about it. Wow, look at all the fire crystals. 
We could sell them on eBay. Gold beds would pay a fortune for them. No. No, no, no. Well, that. Well, I'm sure that's not important. Shut up, Vinio. Shut up, Vinio! Stay close. I want to look around. Stop talking! Well, can't you look around from back there? I told you not to walk around. See? Oh, how bad could it possibly be? Whoa, holy crap! That's one of those guys we you might have seen from the intro there. In the background, but we never had to fight one until now. Is he a good guy? Well, he doesn't look like a good guy. wonder who he works for. For boss time! Okay, first things first, we want to cast Libra on him there, so let's grab that. There we go. And for this... Oh, I should have attacked. Okay, never mind. Well, for this part of the fight, I pretty much just want to stick with Comrade Rat for the early part there. So, let's do that. He is also weak to air, which is why I have... Uh, what is it? He, he's weak to air, which is why I uh, had Saz learn that. And Vanille, I think she knows. Arrow, doesn't she? Well, if she doesn't, she's close enough. Come on, one more. Okay, that'll do the trick, too. Alright, got him. Well, where are you going? Charging up. Charge it? What are you talking about? Charging for what? Boss time! Part two. It's last moment. Or that, too. Yeah. It's charging up to die. Welcome to die? Nah. Alright, so this is phase two of the boss fight. Nice thing here is that we don't have to uh, Libra him again, even though he has double the HP that he had before. Now, one thing you can do is, you see how I uh, switched paradigms when I was in mid-air? When you do that, the nice thing is that uh, you don't have to go through that lengthy uh, paradigm shifting animation. Well, that's pretty nice. I wouldn't especially worry about it, but it's something that, uh, well, it's a good idea, essentially. But anyway, so far we're doing pretty good. You could equip that spark ring that we got earlier, because he does have some lightning attack, but nothing I'm especially worried about. So after this one, get a few more hits in there. There we go. Switch. Switch! And then go all out. So, yeah, pretty standard boss fight nothing really special we don't well we don't have we don't really have that many options we only have commando ravager and medic really to choose from so how did i only get four stars for that battle i mean not that it really matters but you know, it, just, it bothers me i'm ocd like that but for defeating him we get a silver bangle and we unlock the up in arms shops we have more stuff to buy and we get a Crystarium expansion we get new roles or job classes available so those are very nice and I think we also get access to, uh, 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 what is it, more abilities that we can just learn in our Crystarium. So that's pretty nice. It's basically like Chrono Cross. Hop to it. Let's go. Oh, hey, Mr. Owl. But yeah, it's like Chrono Cross, where the, the element grid would expand whenever you defeat a boss. Pretty much the same thing in Final Fantasy XIII. You defeat a boss at the end of a chapter, you will usually get a Crystarium expansion like that. So you'll have new abilities, maybe new job classes, depending on which chapter it is. So, Oh, and hey, there's a ship there just waiting for us. Maybe the bad guys left it there. This will make things easier. Uh, oh, yeah, flying. Yeah, knowing our luck, it's probably missing an engine. You shouldn't be so negative. And you shouldn't get your hopes up. Oh. Yeah, you know, even in the future, nothing works. You should know that. But will the airship really work for us? Where can we go if we do? Is it missing an engine? Or have a few screws loose? Find out next time! And let's play Final Fantasy XIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!